Dexter Weber can't find it. Here's Moynihan will break back in. Moynihan pass up front. Meyer scores. There's the gets around Dexter Weber. Pass in front and Meyer, no mistake. One timer drills it by McDonald low on the blocker side. So you get one glorious scoring opportunity at one end of the ice. And isn't that how it works? Oh, one definitely. goes the other way, and it's one nothing. Yeah, especially a guy who's or dead. A group, a long lead pass for Rydstrom, trying to get around. I can in the net. What a beauty! As what a shot, Rydstrom in behind everybody, falling, goes upstairs, dings it off the crossbar of the aisles. Tie the hockey game up at one. What a play! Philip Rydstrom scored the game winner on Thursday night. And they're gonna go upstairs to review this one. Rides some wicked back in her, no doubt about it. In the back of the net, tied at one, we'll take a break. 16-year-old rookie who's only has a handful of games in the queue. Day Shane hits his man, there's a centering pass, he gets blocked, out muscles his man, here's Goulet, a centering pass, they drop it, tops it, fires wide. Isles trying to swing it back to our race with Timo Meyer, O'Brien, trying to work to the outside of Meyer. Weak shot off, Rydstrom throws a pass in front, O'Brien scores! Towards the front of the goal, and O'Brien pots it home. His father's here as well to take it in. And Quinn O'Brien, his third of the year. And it's 2-0, a shorthanded marker. What a job by O'Brien. Rydstrom, the centering pass, and hand-eye coordination at its best. As O'Brien, two feet in the air, flips it up and in, and the aisles. Have their first lead, it's two to one. O'Brien showing no ill As effect. Now Gervais trying to split the seam. Here's Boudria, two on one developing. Boudria has Schleppick with him. Boudria gives it, back in, big set. In there as well, Islanders holding on here with this top line out a long lead pass. Broussard comes out the plate. O'Brien bumps into Broussard. And as Donahue takes a shot, Danny Moynihan cleans up the garbage. And we got a brand new hockey game tied at two. And the defenseman just did and not. Meyer in across the blue line, leaves it for Max Forche. Forche steps, fires a shot, McDonald with the save. Forche, bad angle shot, scores! Here's Forche with a man with him, gives it for Danny Moynihan. Moynihan, empty net, get a. Time now for after 60 minutes with head coach Jim Holton and uh, Jim. Uh, a tough one tonight because you dominate for 40 minutes of play here. You did all the right things. Uh, what changed for your hockey team in the third? Well, we lost some momentum on the on the penalty kill goal, but still I thought we were in good shape. We had a couple good bounce back shifts and not a lot of explanations for the game. I thought we got robbed tonight by a red hot goaltender and deserved a better fate. I really liked your game. It's one of the more complete games we played all season, and it's a, it's a shame that the kids didn't get rewarded for it, but as a coach I can't ask for a heck of a lot more. Uh, let's talk about the play of your top line. Uh, you must have been pleased with what they did tonight. They created a lot of chances. Yeah, we did. I, I think the lament tonight will be missed chances, missed opportunities, but we had a lot of them. Uh, Shalepic and Goulet in particular had a lot of uh, great A looks in their stick, and normally those ones are golden. Unfortunately, tonight they ran into a red hot goaltender, and that happens in hockey. Uh, another positive is the play of Jacob Dropcheck. Uh, he's only been with you for a little while, but uh, this guy from, you know, his half of ice, uh, he's just amazing. He seems to uh, know how to read the play, play defensively. Um, you like the way he's been playing for you? I do. He's been a nice fit with Shilapik and Goulet well because he thinks the game offensively. And I think once his confidence kind of gets catches up to his abilities, he hasn't played a lot of hockey here this year. So once he gets uh, the speed and the confidence back up, and you can see it growing every game, I think he's going to be a real nice addition. Uh, I know this game is just over. It's uh, fresh in your mind. Any thoughts on what you want to do come uh, the game uh, against Moncton? You want to make any uh, lineup changes? or? Uh, too early to say that. I, I never try to deal on the emotion. Try to take a little bit of time, let everything ease off, and then uh, get a look at the videotape and kind of see where we can go from there. But I think the big thing is just I liked our energy level today, so we're going to have to make sure that we're well rested and a huge game and a good challenge going into Moncton. Yeah, talk about this uh, Moncton team. Uh, what have you seen from them? What do you know about this team? Well, a really, really good club. Uh, well coached. Uh, Connor Garland's been on fire leading the league in scoring. They've been getting great production from a number of sources all season. High-powered offense, so you're going to have to be on your toes away from the puck uh, Wednesday night. Okay, Coach, thanks for this. We really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Okay, that's Coach Jim Holton, and that was after 60 Minutes.